Hello everyone, this is Marissa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do another little playtime with the NYX Air Palette, as well as I just got a new Wet n Wild liquid cat suit. This is Terrifying Tangerine. This is one of the limited edition Halloween shades, um, but I've been looking for a bright orange lipstick, so I was hoping to do a look today that ties in the Air Palette and uses this lipstick. So, I know most you know, like, beauty YouTubers end with a lipstick, but we're going to start with it since this is our inspiration today. has that nice, like, curved doe foot applicator. This is so bright. There's, like, something out that, like, feels a little sharp. There's almost like, part of it like almost feels a little bit sharp. Okay, so like, this is a little bit streaky, a little patchy. I'm gonna let that dry and maybe do another coat of that. Um, so in the meantime, I've already prepped my eyelids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Shocking, what else is new? So we're going to be using the NYX Air Palette today. So I'm going in just with like my regular brush. We're going to go in with shade number one, which is like the buttery yellow shade. And just do that all over. The lid, bring it up past the crease, not all the way up to the brow bone, but I like I like that it's buildable, but I just wish there's a little more pigment because I think this color is so stinking pretty. I've been seeing like a lot of like simple kind of almost like editorial looks on Instagram lately. Where it would be just like this lip and this eye and like, you're done. Huh, we're done. Here. I do really like this color. Next, we are going to go in with shade number three, which is this beautiful kind of pinky peach. We're going to go in with the Wet n Wild Fluffy Crease Brush, which I think this one, this shade number three, might be my favorite in the whole palette. I don't know why. I just think it is so pretty. And of course we're not like seeing it as I talk about how gorgeous this is. You like really... These shadows are like kinda hard so you do have to really go in with your brush. Kind of swirl it. I'm just like swirling it around. These two colors are the most used out of this palette so far. I still think it's a good palette. If I had like an Ulta coupon or something, I would probably get the Fire or Earth palette because I love those warm tones. One of them has like an evergreen. Whichever one has that one is probably the one I would get. I'm just going to go back with number two, the yellow. Lovely. I just don't want to do like anything like too, too crazy. I don't know. So this lip is like kind of patchy. It's a great color though. Like, I would totally wear this just all year round. It is just like... It's pumpkin patchy. Uh, I'm just gonna take ColourPop Cuddle Buddy, which is this really pretty... pink. Let's get the back of my hand, I have lipstick all over. And just pat it onto the center of the eyelid like a good amount, just so you can still see a little bit of that, like, buttery yellow. 
which I'm pretty sure the finger is like using your um, fingers the best way to apply these. I've tried with a brush. It's just easy to dab them on. Okay. So I want to keep the yellow tied in, so I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. 202 brush, uh, which is like the pointed kind of domed brush. And we are, we are going to take the Sugar Pill Butter Cupcake Shadow on our little domed pointed brush. And just kind of go underneath the eye a little bit. I still want like a little bit of yellow. I just love yellow eyeshadow. I definitely do not get to use this eyeshadow as much as I'd like. If I had my way, I'd probably use it all the time. That looks fun. It's just very light and dainty with such a bold lip. I mean, I am using like yellow and pink on my eyes, but it's not like crazy. It's kind of like a subtle fun. Should I do yellow on the inside too? Why not? I do want to do a different inner corner highlight. I don't want to have like the yellow completely. So I'm just going to go in with this little shark brush that I have from Forever 21 and we are going to go in with shade I think we're going to go with shade number 8 which is this one right here in the middle and do that as our inner corner highlight and remember you kind of have to like scrape at this and just go in to the inner corner with this one it's like a subtle purple shift Very subtle, very light and like pinky purpley. But it looks different enough from Cuddle Buddy where it works. To finish off this look, we are going to go in with the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. This is in Prance, which is this lovely light purple color. And just do it on the lower waterline. So one of those things that make your eyes look like very open and awake is like using a flush tone or like a very light eyeliner on the bottom. And just for the my top waterline, I'm going to do the NYX retractable crayon. Just to give my lashes like a little bit of definition on top that I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm really trying to get out of the habit of putting a cat eye on everything which is super difficult because I feel like you're never fully dressed without a cat eye. And for highlight, we're just going to use Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy, which is an eyeshadow, but the glitter is too big for my eyes, so we're just going to use it as a highlight. Look at how blinding this is. This is amazing. I don't, just going in with a flat, this might even be a foundation brush, but I have found this to be the most effective brush for this um, product. Here we are, finished look, unicorn dream queen. I really like this. I feel like it's fun with the lip, but it's not like too crazy with the bold lip. And I didn't do a cat eye. <laughs> 